Who doesn't know cows? That's right. Animals that are identical to the milk producers that we drink every day. But before going into detail about cows, I want to ask you. Have you subscribed to this channel? If not, just press the red button that says subscribe to the Animal Planet Asia channel. By following us, it becomes our passion in producing various interesting content for all of you. Cows are known as milk and meat producing animals. Milk and beef are needed for human food needs. In addition, in some areas, cows are used for energy for agriculture and also for pulling carts. In addition to these facts, it turns out that cows also have several other interesting facts to learn. The cows discussed are more general, yes, guys. I'm not here to specialize in one type of beef, such as dairy or beef cattle. In essence, here what I discuss are interesting facts about cows in general. Maybe there are many who don't know about the cow's stomach, cow habits, and various other interesting facts. Come on, let's just talk. Cows only have four stomachs. Yes, you heard right. The first interesting fact is that cows have a complex digestive system, therefore they are a ruminant polygastric type with multiple stomachs. They have four stomach compartments, namely the rumen, reticulum, omosum, and obomosum. The rumen serves as a temporary storage area for food that has been swallowed. The reticulum serves as a place for mixing food with enzymes. Omosum helps to chemically refine food. Meanwhile, the obomosum functions as a real stomach, because this is where the digestive organs of ruminants chemically work. A cow can spend 6 hours eating and 8 hours per day chewing the food. Cows have a special name for each type. Maybe you only know male and female cows, but actually cows have special names for each type, you know. Bull cows are used to refer to bulls, namely adult bulls used for breeding. Steer to refer to a bull that has been castrated, so that only its meat is used. Next, there are heifers for female cows that have not had children, bred heifers for pregnant female cows, and cows for female cows that have given birth. Cows can't see red. Another interesting fact is that cows are partially colorblind. They can't see red and green. Well, this is interesting. In fact, if we watch a bullfighter show, we will definitely think that bulls really hate the color red, that's why bulls will attack toros or people who are carrying a red flag. So, now the question is, why did the bull look angry and attack toro? bull looks angry because of the movement made by Toro. These sudden movements make bulls interested in attacking, so it's not because of the color. Then, why is the color used in the bullfighter red? Because, during a bullfight, there is a possibility that the bull will be injured and bleeding, to cover up and divert things that are often considered terrible. A striking color such as blood is used, namely red. Therefore, you don't need to be afraid anymore to wear red clothes when you meet cows. The important thing is not to make sudden movements. Cows like classical music. Known as animals who like calm, the next interesting fact about cows is that cows are lovers of classical music. Especially dairy cows. Cows prefer soft and soothing music, which is why cows like classical and traditional music. In contrast to jazz music with its musical character which tends to be rebellious and complicated, because it can make cows stressed. If cows are stressed, milk production will decrease. Meanwhile, when a cow is happy and calm, it will produce more cows. Cows can see 360 degrees. In contrast to humans who can only see something within a 180 degree range, it turns out that cows can see up to 360 degrees. The eyes of the cows are located on the sides of their heads, so they can provide a range of view of more than 300 degrees. 
This can make it easier for him to spot predators, unless the predator is in the cow's blind spot, which is its hindquarters. Cows are livestock that can be considered difficult to care for. Moreover, to be developed as an agribusiness, of course, is not an easy business opportunity. However, who would have thought if it turned out that cattle could provide huge profits? Even though the benefits of this business are great, for those of you who are not experienced in this field, it can actually be detrimental, you know. For that, take the right and correct steps as below so that the cattle business you are doing can develop well. You can choose what type of cow you want to raise and use as a business, whether it is beef cattle or dairy cows producing milk. Both of them have good prospects and opportunities as business fields. You just need to equip yourself with the knowledge of how to start a business properly. The right start will lead you to maximum results. Tips for successfully starting a cattle business For a beginner, it is normal if you still feel confused about how to get started. Don't feel ashamed or embarrassed because you are not alone in this. Many people out there are just as confused. In order not to be confused when you are about to start cattle, you can follow these tips. Calculate and determine initial capital. Capital is very important for any business, including cattle. You have to carefully consider how much capital is needed to start the business. Capital is not only limited to money, but also other technical matters. You can collect information related to this capital by expanding your network or joining the cattle breeder community. From there you can add capital in the form of knowledge and expertise in the field of cattle. Select the type of cow. Equally important is what kind of cattle you will raise. Types of cattle that are commonly bred and made into a business. The types of cattle include. 1. Ongo cattle have the advantage of being able to adapt to a tropical climate, and their development is quite slow, reaching 4-5 years. 2. Limousine cattle have a fairly large size and are suitable as a type of beef or beef cattle. 3. Brahmin cattle, characterized by having a large body and relatively fast growth. 4. Madura cattle, although their growth is slow, they are quite profitable in terms of business. 5. Bali beef, quite adaptable and has a soft meat texture. Prepare the cage. If you choose a livestock business, the thing to think about is the cage. The animals that you raise and raise certainly need cages. Adjust the size of the cage with the number of cows to be kept. Also take into account the comfort factor of the cows later. Ideally the cow shed is located at least in a radius of 10 meters from the house. Try to make the cage easily accessible to vehicles so that it will be easier for you to sell it later. Choose superior and good cow breeds. Choose superior cattle seeds so that later they can develop well and optimally. Make sure the cow has markings on its ears and calves as proof that it is registered. This means that the cow comes from a good pedigree. Provide quality feed. Good and superior cattle seeds will be meaningless if they are not accompanied by quality feed. The purpose of feeding cattle is to encourage growth and development to run rapidly. In this way, fat and quality cows will be produced which will have a high selling price. Cow Care Good feeding must be supported by comprehensive care for cattle. The treatment aims to prevent the arrival of diseases that can reduce the quality of the cow itself. An example of treatment for cattle is the provision of vaccines and deworming drugs on a regular basis. Those are some tips for starting a cattle business so that the results are good and satisfying. Basically, this cattle business can bring big profits for the perpetrators. However, it takes hard work and consistency so that this business can run optimally.